You have to be there. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Leanne Barbados. What in the PR Amber Heard op-eds is going on here? I'm trying to do Sunday lunch barbecue, by the way, so I'm sorry if I don't look as, you know, um, as I do normally. But listen, Meghan Markle's PR team needs to be fired. Her PR team is so irresponsible, so incompetent. I think a lot of the news outlets are very intimidated by her because she sues. She do be suing in court. So they're all like, oh, you know, um, Meghan Markle's trying her best. She's extending this olive branch and so on and so forth. Meghan offers a huge olive branch to finally end the rift with Thomas Markle after stroke. Okay, so she's had this four year rift with him. He's never met anybody, no Harry, no children, nothing. And I just wanted to appreciate, well, I just wanted you to appreciate. <laughs> her PR team, probably, or her, have definitely watched us talking about how despicable it is for you to not go to your father's bedside and see what's going on so she's saying oh i couldn't figure out how to get in touch with him i want to make sure that there was no samantha markle there shout outs to my video <laughs> saying that her only litigious situation is with her sister and that, that that should not prevent her from seeing her father and i just want to make sure that it was private and confidential because you know she's a super private person absolutely her and harry just want a private life you know um no netflix cameras because i accused her of bringing well I'm sure a lot of us did, accused her of bringing Netflix cameras to Uvalde and like, it's just too much. And she's really trying. She's trying to say like, well, I really wanted to be there, but I can't because, you know, I have all these privacy issues and I'm like this super public person that needs all these clauses and stuff. If I'm going to see my dad, girl. I don't want to get emotional, but like he's writing on a whiteboard. I'm going to get to that in a minute. But he has a right, um, right brain blood clot. And that's a stroke. So he's not able to speak right now. So he's writing on a whiteboard, which is extremely. I don't know if you can call it triggering, but I did go through that with my dad and Funny enough, they can write and talk through writing, but the speech has to be, you have to go through speech therapy and a lot of um, other things. As you might know, any, any of you might know this, right? But I experienced it with my dad and he's trying to reach out to her. He's saying that he has a message for the queen, happy jubilee, and so on and so forth. He's a bit delusional. So when my dad had a stroke, he would write my name and try to say my name over and over again. My dad was a surgeon and he recovered fully as a surgeon. But one of the things he first did was try to say my name, try to speak my name, try to write my name. And... The fact that her father is so caught up with the queen and trying to make his way to England for her jubilee. He's trying to, he, he, he is trying to say that they're friends. There has never been a family against family issue. I don't know why he doesn't understand that. Megan has been Megan. There has never been like Romeo and Juliet, star-crossed lovers, families against families, that he has to try to make amends with the queen. And that confuses me a lot because he constantly keeps trying to um, pledge his allegiance to the queen as if he was an English citizen. I don't understand why. 
he thinks that they should be best friends, him and Charles, because they have a lot in common. Like, he's so obsessed with that. I don't know what that is about. Somebody said that maybe he's trying to get the queen to help him because he has no support. He has nobody who's, like, uh, helping him live where he lives or anything like that. Maybe he just wants a place to live. He just wants the queen to take care of him. I mean, you could go to Johnny Depp. <laughs> He'll give you a penthouse in Hollywood. <laughs> It's better you go to Johnny Depp, you have more of a chance than getting anything from the Queen because the Queen is just working. Why he is keep, keeps trying to say, we should reunite, we should unite, in fact, because they've never united before. It's never been that he is on Meghan's team. Meghan's team and his team are two different teams. Her children haven't met you. So in a way, she hasn't met you. <laughs> like, you know, as a grown married mother. She has not met you. And and also, Samantha Markle, who is lodging a claim against Meghan Markle for defamation in the courts, she also hasn't reached there yet. I mean, I know people have things to do. Like, I have I have already done a million things today, haven't you? We all have things to do. Meghan Markle has things to do. I'm not saying not. But just go and see your father. Both of you girls, just go and see your father. Anyway, he's been let out of hospital now. And so he will probably go into therapy and, and rehab for, for the stroke, which is a very long process. And it takes a lot of support um, to encourage him. I'm sorry, I'm just like really, I'm trying to get through this video, but I'm just like really emotional because it just takes a lot. It takes so much for you to see your dad struggling to say her name and he says the queen's name he says the queen's name because he just wants to get to you and he thinks that's the only way <laughs> i saw my dad tying ropes to learn how to do surgery again you know you have to be there i'm sorry guys i'm back um oh, no no i'm back your girl's back um you just have to be there to support them and this man has nobody there i'm actually shocked that samantha markle is not there and i'm mad at her I'm mad at her for not being there. The stroke was in the right side of the brain, so the damage was on the left, and he's left-handed, but it also impaired his speech and his ability to swallow. Oh. Uh. I don't know why they're making this crazy excuse that, like, she doesn't know how to contact the hospital. Uh, surely you could just find yourself there, contact your PR, say, please get me there. Um, I am the daughter. My name is Meghan Markle, and I would like to see my father. Seriously. How? Oh, we don't know how to call him. Well, he can't talk, so you can't call him. So maybe you should try another angle, like arriving. I hope this hasn't been too long for you. I think I was very shocked that her response was that uh, i'm trying but i can't because the articles looked like oh she's feeling this rift with her father and blah blah it's not even she hasn't actually done it so when they say these things you really have to read and see what you you cannot just read headlines you you cannot just read hit pieces because when you read it the actual article, you see that she hasn't actually done anything. And I think that's where the PR company comes in. And to be very honest with you, I do a lot of my videos on the news and I just can't even trust the mainstream media anymore. Like there's so much that goes into me making a video based on mainstream media. And I'm really grateful for all of you who send me the articles and everything. But you have to understand, like, I have to go through a lot to find out if that is really the case. She extends an olive branch. Yet, in the actual body of the article, you see that she doesn't know how to get in contact with him. So she doesn't know what to do now. Ah. 
that's it anyway thank you guys so much for watching me please give a thumbs up uh please subscribe to my channel i do different things as you know but i am trying to stay focused on what is really right in this world because there's a lot going on right now anyway i will be live streaming the amber herd well jd versus amber herd verdict on tuesday because there's a bank holiday i heard in america i'm not in america but i heard there is a bank holiday in america on monday so we'll have to wait till tuesday to live stream that so let's let's stay tuned okay thank you so much lots of love to you and thank you so much for everybody who watches my live streams thank you bye bye